in this video I'm going to be looking at um, the concept of website theming how you can apply theme to your website so that you can control the appearances of the controls on your web page um, some people think that the master page is, is similar to theming and I, I want to make I want to uh, explain the difference between the two uh, when you apply master page to your website uh, you are sharing content among multiple pages if you have a content that must be available on every page of your website that's when you use the master page so the master page allows you to uh, share uh, content between I mean among all the pages that you have on your website whereas uh, sometimes you want to control to have a special type of uh, property uh, for example let's say we have um, a web form and our web form we want all the th or we want all our um, text boxes to have a different background color I mean the same background color which is not the default background color normally you would add uh, this property from the say for example we want all our um, text boxes to have a yellow background color so normally you set this uh, property from the properties window come on it's very slow to right text box one and you go to the back color and you set the back color to uh, yellow or whatever color you decide and so on and so forth so this is the way you will have to do it for all the controls that you have an easier way to do it is to is to enable theme if you enable the theme on your on your website then all the controls that you've um, states in the uh, theme we actually do we automatically pick the colors that you have uh, so uh, let me show you how that works so let me add make it four so what I'm going to do is if I show you let me show you let's run the application but it's just as simple there's no code or anything so right now we've used the um, the style sheet the style sheet to set the back color to yellow um, so that because we've used the the appearance element here which set the style the back color to yellow here so uh, it will be a tedious job to have the same uh, back color equals to yellow to every control because what happens is um, our codes become larger and uh, the performance are the performance of our web of our web page becomes slower so uh, the way to do it is to as you can see there's a special folder apart from this app underscore data folder um, I'm not sure if I've told you what this app underscore folder uh, app underscore data folder is it, that's what holds our database uh, in the the beginning 20 videos I told you we created a news uh, database this is uh, what it is and this second database I haven't told you this is this asp.netdb.mdf is what holds the user of our website so um, whenever you go to this ASP.NET configuration and set the uh, users from there now you get this uh, other database anyway let's get back to uh, themes so uh, and you want to add a folder a special folder called um, app underscore theme so how do you do that you right click on the uh, project and go to the add ASP.NET folder and just click on theme when you do that two things happen we get this app underscore theme added and then an special another folder and this folder is the folder that we need to create a theme so let's create this theme and call it um, um, default theme that's the name of this theme so say for example you want to have red yellow green blue theme on your website and you want your users to be able to change the color uh, to match those colors you want them to change the color if somebody prefer to have see just red stuff or red text on the page or you want user to be able to see only the green um, theme on the page so 
uh, you have to create folder for each one so for example now let's add another folder ASP.NET folder theme so this is theme now we can call this one red so let's add another one and call it uh, blue so so now we have three themes for our website and um, let's use this default and uh, let's add uh, a skin file add a new item you get this uh, pop-up and you can add a skin file a skin file it enables you to modify the properties of an ASP.NET control uh, for example if I have add a skin file to this theme and I call it controls so this is the screen files I'm going to use to modify all the controls um, properties so if I had it uh, it's going to open it gives you a little bit of information on well, how to use your ASP.NET control but I'm going to tell you the basics so now let's add uh, ASP um, text box like, like we have on our page we want to change the uh, let's give it an ID uh, sorry that's what something I have to remember to tell you um, when you're creating controls property inside the skin file you must never specify an ID never specify an ID if you specify an ID you're gonna get an error so ASP text box run at equals to server um, back color I want to set the back color to yellow remember so that's the next thing that we have to do now back color equals to yellow so this will be applied to every uh, text box on our page and let's give it a border style border style equals to solid right so I close that we, uh, we save this and another thing I haven't shown you if you see this asterisk this little asterisk it means your page has not been saved so if you click on save you see it's gone the asterisk is gone from here so now that we have a skin file so how do we apply this theme to our page so we go back to our page and um, we go to the source view at the top here that's where we set you know the page directive we are they say so as you as you can see now we can see that the three f themes that we've created we've created the default the blue and the red so we get access to the three of them so now if you go back to our page um, even though we can't see it now the theme has been applied to this page uh, let's run it so that you can believe me so let's run the page and we should be able to see that all our text boxes we have a back color of yellow because we've up you see they have a back color of yellow and a border of um, uh, we have a, a solid border around them so that's the way to um, apply theme to your the advantage is that uh, just like I said initially instead of um, applying uh, style one by one to each of your controls here uh, you can use this skin file to modify the properties uh, of the bar you have to realize that you can only modify the appearance property of the control inside the skin file you cannot modify the behavior property so you cannot modify the auto post back property and set it to false inside the skin file <laughs> it will not allow you to do that only the appearance the skin is only is only used to modify the um, uh, the look and feel of a control so um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, use other features of this uh, theming so thank you